So what's up everyone? Welcome back to your channel, Brighter Life Institute. I am Alicia. I want to talk to you today about the personality type of INFG. The difference uh, between uh, an INFG and a stigma INFG and the truth about this personality type of INFG. There's so many description and a good description regarding this personality type of INFG. There are many videos regarding the subject. Many things that we can find online regarding this personality type. Many people claim to be an INFG especially on YouTube. Well, let me tell you, many of those people, they are not even close to be one. I don't know why so many people are faking it, to be it when they're not. But today, I want to talk about certain characteristic that people are not talking about regarding this personality type. We hear a lot of good things with this personality type. And maybe that's the reason some people claim to be it when they're not. But, yes, INFJ are very caring, they are supportive, they are the people that really want good for other but uh, let me remind many of you that we are living in a society that uh, is uh, full and crowded of people that are only thinking about themselves and don't have the conscience or the heart to feel sorry if they use another person that were good to them. They will feel absolutely zero about it. For a matter of fact, they will blame the person that were good that it is their fault if they were taken advantage of. Sound familiar? So an FJ can be described as a Mother Teresa and that's very interesting because Mother Teresa is an INFJ. Or they can be described as a saint and we also have Jeanne d'Arc and French heroine that is an INFG. So many personality in history that really brought some change to other people's life and to the society and that were defending justice are INFG. And so, yes, there is uh, this great characteristic that is uh, linked to this personality type. And they are all true. But INFJ, and I really want to bring a distinction between the INFJ and INFJ and the stigma INFJ. An INFJ especially in early age may not be aware who they are why they having certain things happening for some people out would there that don't know the INFJ I will say try to find out early in your life it will make a hell of difference for you to understand why certain things in your life are happening the way it's happening So the INFJ in the early life uh, are people that are very caring, they can be confused for people pleaser and maybe when they start they are maybe people pleaser, they are taking over by other people emotion, they dive deep in the historical emotional feeling inside certain people that they connect with. This connect with is not always decided by an FJ to do. 
usually the most important person in the INFG life is their boyfriend, their husband. Of course, there is the children, their cat and dog, anybody that is in the small circle because INFG have a very small circle of people that they call friends, real friends, or this is my boyfriend. The boyfriend or the husband is somebody that INFG care deeply about. They are totally loyal and devoted to that person and got the interest on top of the list of everything. So INFJ at the start will be kind of um, unable, especially when they don't know the INFJ, they don't understand why uh, certain things are going on, uh, are going to get themselves drained a lot, uh, bother about uh, a lot of things, by the behavior of other people they care about, uh, hurt by the people they care about, disappointed by certain injustice that's happening, and uh, things will be a little bit all over the place, but the difference between INFJ and stigma INFJ is the INFJ at that stage will be really uh, targeted by their own emotion and they will be um, really taking the heat by everything that is happening around them and they will suffer a lot because they will not know how to protect themselves. They will be surrounded by people that are draining their good heart, their good will because yes, INFG care about the people, they want to help them, they are very giving, they, they, they really uh, are perfectionists in um, the area of care. The stigma INFJ still care, but not at the same level. Stigma INFJ, like the INFJ, but here it's more, you know, this INFJ, this stigma, don't doubt anything that they feel. So, usually, the stigma can see who you are very quickly. For those manipulators, those narcissists, INFJ will play the good priest. They are priests. We will get back to the point of religion regarding this personality type in a sec. So, they will play the good priest or the good therapist for those manipulators and those narcissists, those selfish individuals, or those people that have bad intention toward them. INFJ usually know who those people are. It's really confusing for an INFJ actually regarding this area of detecting and seeing clearly who is the person that want to do bad to them or have bad intention toward them because it's so clear that sometimes the INFJ is wondering it's either they are very good to see the person and the person don't know it or the person it's just so <laughs> they are so bad to manipulate or to be a narcissist or oh, they're so bad actor in plotting what they want to do that they don't realize they're bad at it. There's something about it. All I can say is 9FJ can get bored of those people because they can see everything. The movement of the eyes speak, their lips, their hair, their body even the breath. So INFJ usually already know what they get themselves into. But what they do as a play in the good priest and the good scent, they give them the benefit of the doubt. 
and sometimes they give them this benefit of the doubt more than one time. So this person, this manipulator, this uh, bad uh, mind person, apply what they have meant to apply for the energy there is no surprise of course there's a bit of disappointment like okay I thought you could do better but no. you did exactly what I expected you're going to do INFJ have this famous door slam that people talk about and people talk about it like this INFJ um, you know apply this door slam easy and some people when they get door slam they wonder why and it seems like it just happened from nowhere no usually in INFJ from the start they can see who you are and they will give you more than five chance to prove that you're not really that bad but no it get worse and it get really to the calculation what this INFJ have seen from the start have sensed from the start stigma INFJ compared to the INFJ has no tolerance for keep trying INFJ are people that don't understand why other people cannot treat another, especially people that say they care for you. So who are they? Because it's not just the stranger, the spy can be bad. It is this small circle of people that INFJ has in their life that will get this, you know, this, uh, I will say, not expectation, but this review. INFJ will not understand why a friend, that say they are a friend, don't care. Why they playing around. And INFJ know why they playing around. It could be from jealousy, envy, or they were never a friend. They were a dangerous chameleon from the start. But INFJ have seen that. Stigma INFJ, what they do, they are not behaving like the INFJ. INFJ will just say, okay, I saw it. Stigma doesn't play like that. Stigma will enter that person and punish them by giving them exactly what they wanted to give the INFJ. This kind of hurt. INFJ don't understand when they are in a love relationship. Why a partner will lie? Why they playing around? Why they start to put down the INFJ? When the INFJ don't do that, why they have problem to try? Why they always take but never think wants to give? Giving is not about money. Despite that some people think like giving is about money, it's not about money. Sometimes you could just try for your partner, like making them breakfast or cleaning uh, the place with them or giving them some time for them to talk about their day. Not just talking about you all the time. INFJ do not understand such a people but uh, when I say don't understand, they understand very clearly where that is coming from. INFJ do not believe that somebody that truly care for you will do any of those things, will cheat, will already organize to be with somebody else, will put them down, will disagree with them constantly every time that this INFJ open their mouth, will always take not trying, not planning, and start to tell the INFJ that, okay, you know, we are together, but I'm not planning to marry you, uh, planning anything with you. INFJ don't play this kind of game, and the stigma 
what she does is she get it straight away where this coming from this is just a joke and she will kill the relationship because there is no relationship here there is no healthy relationship possible with such a person so stigma have a very short fuse to uh, not uh, hanging around to find out if it's really true they trust their first impression they can sense the envy and the attack toward them at the first glance and they take action a stigma INFJ will enjoy to deal with a narcissist that think that they can hurt them that's just a, a, a any narcissist should just run to the other side because this person, this INFJ, can go inside the narcissist and hurt them exactly where they didn't want to be hurt. Recently, I saw a video about a woman talking about her ex-partner who's a narcissist that sent her a text message to uh, send her a picture of him and his new girlfriend with their new baby. And she was talking about that and talking about how much is a narcissist and blah, blah, blah. Like other people talk about narcissists. INFJ and especially the stigma really have no sympathy and literally that's what it is. For people that are wasting their time talking about people that are not adding value in their life. Too many people are affected where things like oh, why somebody didn't call you, why somebody's giving you the silence treatment, and they're talking about it left and right to everybody, when what they should do is focus on their own life, and this person don't want to engage, and why should we care? Stigma have very short fuse to give. Uh, attention to such a thing. They move quickly and they simply laughed out on things that uh, people want some uh, validation, want to be noticed. And <laughs> the Sigma have no time for this. So the things with INFJ that many people are not talking about, it, this personality type is a full personality type. Is a full personality. It is a personality that can be seen as strict. They are strict. They are strict with the expectation, and it's not even expectation for an INFJ. This is the normal. This is the simplicity. This is what the basic should be. And INFJ do not understand why it's so damn hard for everybody that say they want to know you, get with you. To do just that, to know you and get on with you and to get together and why it's so hard, so damn difficult for people to get together and just be happy. INFG see that happiness is a choice. Yes, it is a choice that you have the luxury to make every day of your life. When you don't get along with your partner, that's a choice that you have decided to do it to you know you have decided to not get alone when you criticize your partner and you see your partner what, what they needed is not critic but support you have decided to not be a friend to your partner most people that break up and that uh, the relationship is not working is because you are with somebody both of those people are in a relationship with their worst enemy and then they wonder why it's not working. INFJ see this kind of thing as a waste of time. If we don't really truly care for each other, why are we dealing with each other? Get off of my face and stop wasting my time. That's how the stigma and also the INFJ see it. The stigma INFJ is rigid straight to the point they are people that are truly not looking for validation from nobody if the whole world and the whole planet don't want to talk to them they are good actually this is great INFJ get the strength when they are alone so when they get with somebody when they are 
approach somebody, when they invite somebody in their life, it's because they truly care. They are not planning to take you down. They are not planning to um, do their worst. INFJ do not get into a relationship if it's not to want to do their best. It's the best, and if they are not capable to do their best, they walk out. They take, they click, and they clack, and leave by themselves. INFJ is extremely strict. That's something people are not talking about. They're extremely strict and focus. They are born with unborn moral duties and mind. These INFJ have a close link with spirituality, with the God, the, the justice. This is not just a talk, this is something the person that is an INFJ feel. You can feel the personality of INFJ inside your own body. Sometimes it's extremely scary. INFJ can get affected by the suffering of others and don't even talk about the people they care about. They immediately will be agonizing um, if somebody they care about is not okay. INFJ can connect with the suffering of people in history. If a group of people were murdered, they can connect with them. They make excellent forensic people, you know, criminal inspector that to connect what happened here, what is, they are very good to link the dot. They are very good to link the dot and the stigma link the dot very fast. The stigma couldn't care who appreciate them, who approve, who doesn't approve. The only person in the world of an INFJ really that matter is their boyfriend or their husband. This person from the moment this person is in the life of an INFJ or by not saying it INFJ sworn to themselves above to be loyal to be true to be the first number one support of their partner when INFJ are not supportive toward their partner they usually break the relationship because they see that this partner is not loyal to them. This partner is not is taking them for granted. So INFJ, that is not a people pleaser will say, you know, I carry you in my heart. May make no mistake. If you don't carry me in the same level and point. I'm out. But when everything is good, the loyalty that an INFJ has toward a partner is unbreakable. This is the person that nobody can influence, nobody can change their mind, nobody can do anything if this INFJ doesn't want to do it other than a good luck. We see this determination with Nelson Mandela. And Nelson Mandela is an INFJ, but so is his wife. This determination and also this a bit of saint faith, we see it in Jeanne d'Arc, the French heroine. This belief in justice, we see it on Luther King. This uh, stand to care for those that can't. We see it in Mother Teresa. And so, through the history, these people, yes, they care for over, they make no mistake about it. These people have a very strong personality where they will fight back and they will find the strength to battle anyone that come in, in the something that it really matter to them. 
you have a very strong personality as a person here and some people can feel it they get panic and nervous to wonder why is this one doing his own thing and not looking to uh, get along with me oh uh, why this one is always alone and doing their thing and not coming with the group one thing that INFJ hate more than anything is the group because the way INFJ see a group you becoming unglub like a, I don't know I don't have the word and your personality get lost with this group where they want to have food you have to go there and have food what they want to talk about you need to talk about you need all to be like uh, you, we are a band uh, we were born together INFJ feel just sick to their stomach uh, when they see this group things like uh, yes uh, think like us if we uh, dress up like this you cannot dress up better like right now I get people looking down on me and you know the interesting thing of people looking down on you is when they feel frightened by you I don't know if you can see it you know you dress good and you know you are dressing good you're doing the smart things you asking the right question or you have done certain things that they have not done and they have a problem with you but guess who doesn't have any problem with anybody is the INFJ stigma INFJ have no time to worry about people that give them the silent treatment you see online some people wondering why this one didn't call me back why did it because they don't want to why you worry about it you see people talking about narcissist, narcissist, narcissist. you are a narcissist yourself so stop it if you why you care so much Everybody knows that the if you want to bother so much about narcissists, the best thing and the best response with a narcissist, why anybody that doesn't give you the time of day, is to forget about them and continue your life and do it as best that you can and enjoy it as best you can. But no, so many people are out there, they are there talking about the people that doesn't return their call, the people that uh, uh, we were together and now they are with somebody else. And the, what, the low self-esteem in our society is insane. It's between the narcissist people that just want to hit other, other people for everything they got for themselves and the other group would call a bit the codependent or the victim that is there complaining oh why the narcissist leaving me why look how you treated me it's it's crazy there are so many things to do in life that why wasting your breath and time talking about people the people that doesn't matter in your life so INFJ really don't like the superficial connection right now I get people offended because I'm doing my own thing I'm in their class but as soon the class is over I have things to do I'm doing my own thing but you know they're taking me uh, me doing my own thing because I have to personally and and then they you, you can feel the problem with INFJ they can they, they, they can feel and they can understand and they can see what's the problem. Jealousy and envy is the problem. And unfortunately, with this personality type, they could care less. Whatever your problem is, it is yours, not theirs. So, yes, when we look in general, INFJ personality, especially the stigma, are people that really... Um, don't care about things that other people care about. Many people are, are so worried to get a, uh, to be alone, and INFJ are looking to be alone because they get drained by companies. Because when they are with somebody, they give so much. They be alone is is a blessing.
Me for other people be alone is like oh my god I'm not expect it's uh, you know uh, I'm not accepted in a new group blah 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 my god get over yourself already so that's what I wanted to talk about today about the truth about INFJ the truth is this is a, a personality yes that is nice but that is very uh, focus uh, kind of a Christian and you have a religious things for this personality they are very strict and they have some very strong values that it's very difficult to change it's unthinkable to change it and they don't care about getting along with other people so that's the truth they will keep it um, amicable but they are not here and if they are not here to please anybody they're doing their things because they need to do it anyone that don't like it it's not the INFJ problem they are not they were not born to please anyone yes we have to be respectful toward other people but uh, people that get offense because you're wearing a nice dress or you got a new car or you buying a new home or you got a new job that's their problem I, I don't get it. What, what should I leave to please other people? Uh, it's really insane. And yes, stigma and FJ really have no tolerance to be in a relationship with anyone they don't care about. And when they see that their partner as somebody that is playing them, that don't really care, that, that really don't, don't give them the same quality of the connection, the relationship will be over. That's it. So, I hope that I have clarified certain things for you and I thank you today to have watched this video with me Alicia and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!